Green. I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo Team yet. I need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, 
The elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core commands in the chamber, and witnesses said that he was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although for losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 7 Five, two. And Warning, EPD laser active.
Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-21. Gas leak stopped. I uh, just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket and managed to activate the apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is one of the pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget and we're going to pay off this board. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the budget is going to go up as well. So Please mark this for review of corporate and of law.
Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports for the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious... For general... Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel had ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. Space hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone.
experience for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two Development of the Hydra. Though still in its prototype stages. The Cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity.
reaching anyone. I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me.